Hi guys, this is the point charge and charge sphere. Okay, so we have a point charge in the middle of um, a charged sphere. There's like an air here. Okay, and um, draw this, there is a point P here and there is a point R here ok so the first question is asking what is E X P E X P ok uh, and then P they give us the point P the distance from here to, to the point P alright so they want to find the electric field in the X direction all right, so we'll, we're, we'll be using the Gaussian law. Gaussian law. So phi will be equal to integral of e dot dA equal to q enclosed divided by epsilon naught. <coughs> okay. Well, since um, e will be constant, and the dot product between dA, if we chose that this is the Gaussian surface. Okay. Then <coughs> the dA will be just the um, a surface of the sphere, Gaussian sphere that we did, which is so here will be times four pi p squared, okay, equal q enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Then the Q enclosed and this surface that we did is Q1 plus Q2, okay? So from this guy we'll get E will be equal to 4 pi P squared epsilon naught. <coughs> and you'll just add the, the charges, Q2 plus Q1. If one of them negative or positive, just make sure you put the sign because it's the sum of them. Okay. And if you had the negative charge was larger, then the the magnetic field will be pointing to the x direction, negative x. If the um, if the positive was larger, then the electric field will be pointing um, to the right. Very right, cool. So question number two, um, what is the um, the y component of the electric field? The electric field will just point, be pointing in the x direction, so the y ey will be equal to zero. And what is the value of the y component of the electric field? You know, I missed one question. Um, what is the e x r, the x component of the r? It's gonna be, it's gonna be only in y, okay. And the so this one was e y p. This one is e r p, e r um, x, which is also zero. <coughs> so now question number four is what is the value of the y component of the electric field at point r, okay? So let's draw draw all our Gaussian surface okay then if you look closely we'll, we'll be using the E and then the Gaussian surface will be 4 pi r squared equal Q enclosed the Q enclosed if you see look closely we're not having Q2 and this one too we're, we're only gonna have Q1 right inside this Gaussian surface right so it's only Q1 divided by epsilon naught so it's going to be equal to E will be equal to Q1 4 pi epsilon naught r squared okay it acts like um, well yeah it's, it is a point charge anyway alright so number 5 is um, what is the sigma 
what is, the, what is the surface charge density of the outer edge of the shell okay so they're looking at the outer edge of the shell all right so I'll, I'll give you values quick values for this guy um, we got the Q1 Q1 we got a minus 7.7 .7, and for Q2 I got 2 2.7 okay that's positive microcoulomb microcoulomb okay and this shell is is a con conductor and conductor means that the the charge is free to move okay this is important to remember the charge is free to move all right so uh, what does that help us well since we know that um, the, the total charge they told us that the total charge is Q2 which is 2.7 and we know that the electric field at this region should be zero so when we draw our Gaussian surface, the E should be zero, which is also mean that the Q enclosed should be zero. Okay. So that means that the um, Q one, which is the minus seven point seven, plus the the Q inner. will be equal to zero so this is minus 7.7 .7 plus Q enter so Q enter will be equal to 7.7 .7, and this is positive okay um, yeah so we found the charge on the inner surface so how do you find now the outer so since we have the total charge of Q2 equal 2.7 then this will be equal to 7.7 .7 plus Q out okay if you take this to the other side then the Q outer will be equal to um, negative 5 all right negative 5 so this is the Q outer okay going back to the question they were asking um, what is the sigma sigma outer and they want the sigma inner and I think this is for six and seven well whatever so the sigma out is equal to the charge of the outside divided by the surface of the outside remember we're looking at surface not volume or anything else so the sigma out we got it it was the so it's it, well the sigma it means that it's charge per um, per, per area okay so we're dividing this by the area of by the area of the um, the area of the this guy here the outside which is 4 pi times the B squared and for the inner we'll be using 7.7 .7 divided by um, the area of the the inside which is 4 pi a squared okay what else do we how many values for X 4.6 infinity is true that ex will be zero. Um, there, there, there would be no point. There would be no point that electric in x direction will be zero on the on the x axis. Um, number eight, I said e two will be equal to e zero. Why? Because the the charge enclosed didn't change. Okay, I don't care what's gonna happen of 
the charge on the outside of the Gaussian surface. I just care about what is inside the Gaussian surface, okay? Alright guys, I hope this helped and good luck.